what can you tell us about where your character's going? Uh, the headline here is uh, Cisco gets more romantically involved with Gypsy. That's my main talking point today. Um, yeah, there's something about working with Jessica Camacho, um, who plays Gypsy, um, that's been really freeing. There's, I don't know, there's something about working with her that just makes it very easy. And from what I hear from fans and our writers, it's a, it's a chemistry that really works on camera. And so I think our writers are interested in, uh, in developing, developing that relationship a little bit more, um, which I love. We've, um, we're um, we're going to explore sort of um, how that relationship uh, manifests itself in, try, when it's taken to the next level. Because when Cisco does try to take it to the next level with Gypsy, uh, some new characters come through that make that a little difficult. Um, and more on that will be revealed at the panel today. So, more time with Gypsy means more superhero time, like actual live passes time? Or, uh, For sure. I mean, even just substantiate, even just to substantiate that relationship with Gypsy, you know, they got to breach in and out of their dimensions in order to see each other in the first place, you know what I mean? So that in and of itself is plenty of practice for us. For, for vibe in terms of his breaching capabilities, so I look forward to maybe doing a little more breaching this season. Hopefully. With Barry gone, how does Cisco kind of step up for the team? That's a good question. Um, I think I think he does it gracefully, as he usually does. Um, he, I mean, he still misses his friends. You know, Caitlin and Barry. These are these are critical parts of the team dynamic that are missing, and they're definitely felt as losses. Um, and so, I think even though Cisco is optimistic and, and, and lighthearted and, he, he, and, and passionate, he's also um, he's also he is also willing to do whatever it takes to get his friends back. You know, and I wouldn't be surprised if he had some tricks up his sleeve uh, with regards to how to get married. I mean, do Vibe's powers, like, evolve? Like, does he, you know, get to do more? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, like something different than what he's already yeah. been doing. Um, I'm not sure from what I've read in uh, in the Vibe mythos for the New 52. Uh, that's sort of his his bread and butter. He's an interdimensional warder, right? Um, he can reach in and out of places and use the vibrations that exist between dimensions as weapons, right? Um, which is actually huge, you know what I mean? I don't think uh, a lot of people who are first timers with the show or with the Flash mythos understand the the gravity of these powers and what exactly they can do. You know, I could theoretically end the world, you know what I mean? Because these powers are so uh, huge. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> How many, uh, how many scripts have you read for this season, and, and what's the first big five? Uh, I'm currently uh, halfway through the third script of the season. Uh, all I can say is it's very funny. This season is a lot funnier than the past seasons. They're really amping up the, the comedy and the levity and the lightheartedness that I think made our show such a success in the first season especially. And they're actually cranking up the dial on that levity, I think, in this season, which I think... I think is needed, you know? I, we went pretty dark last season, and I think that worked for whatever it was we were going for, but uh, ultimately, um, my favorite thing about the show is when we, we reach those lighthearted places, you know? So, uh, How does it change with Wally becoming the Flash? Uh, with Wally, it's really fun, because actually, like, um, in Barry's absence, Kid Flash and Vibe have to be the ones to step up and keep the city, you know, uh, in control, basically. And uh, Wally's thing out of that is, you know, oh, he's actually getting to step up and be the chance, get the chance to be a hero. Um, but you know, he's going to come across some obstacles in the season with regards to him feeling like he's him feeling like he's valued in the team. You know. So is Vibe going to get a new costume for being out in the street? Uh, so far it's been, you know, what we had last year, which is great. My ass feels great in the, <laughs> the pants. We get these great suspenders and it's just like that smooth leather, you know. I love it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Sidetrack. <laughs> That's a fun one. Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else, just that. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so Thank much, you. guys.